Honorable Prime Minister, Minister, and our President, Ambassadors, colleagues, I'm speaking last, so this is even more difficult than speaking fifth. Uh, and I'd like to just note that uh, at the UN, in the UNDP, for us, women empowerment is a core value of how we do things. We cooperate with many of you in this. Uh, we truly welcome the fact that the global women empowerment event is coming to Armenia. It actually reflects the fact that the leadership of the country, the Prime Minister personally, truly believes in women empowerment. We were very honored to host the Prime Minister in New York in the General Assembly special event that you need to be organized. And there with our administrator, I think Steiner, he made an amazing 10 minute speech about women empowerment, uh, off the cuff, without any remarks. This truly impressed the UN crowd. And ever since Armenia is known as one of the advocates for women empowerment uh, and on the UN platform. Here in Armenia, we are uh, working on many fronts, women political empowerment, Ambassador of the UK mentioned that, but also women economic empowerment with our fellow colleagues from UN Women. We are focusing on the most vulnerable women, women that live in the rural areas, women that have no access to education, women that need to help, need help in overcoming stereotypes in their families, but also women who have amazing potential. Uh, just uh, a few weeks ago, we launched an accelerator program for girls and young women in IT sphere. It's called Accelerator Number 5, for the Sustainable Development Goal Number 5, which, which is about promoting women empowerment. The number of applicants from rural girls and rural young women for trainings in IT sector that would then help them to create IT startups was overwhelming. We are now struggling to process them, but this is a great sign. Similarly, we have fantastic initiatives in most complicated places, such as Chinari and Tagus Mars, on the border of Armenia, where people are living uh, under security threats. Uh, there, we have a cooperative of women from Chinari uh, doing something that will revitalize the agricultural sector in that Mars, uh, namely producing seedlings. We have found out that most of the seedlings in Armenia are being imported which is really strange for a country with such amazing agricultural biodiversity. So these four women in Chinari uh, have taken the lead, we supported them, and now we can see that this is becoming a sustainable business. As the Prime Minister mentioned, there is no lack of good ideas. We need courage, we need good institutional support for this, and we need to send a strong signal to women of all ages, starting from girls, starting from the family, in schools, that women's leadership and empowerment is something that is real. Thank you very much for hosting us uh, today, today, and uh, I'm very honored to be here and for you to support this event. Thank you.